In this video, I'll be showing you how to create and load your first project in the Music and Sound Design platform. This is the Project Loader screen, which opens upon launching the software. This screen is divided into two sections. On the left, we have a button which will launch a new project. The right side of the window includes a button that launches a dialog window that will allow you to manually select and open previously created projects. Below this button is a drop-down menu with a list of project names. If this is your first time opening the program, this menu will be empty. Click the MSDP button to create and start a new project. A dialog window will open asking you to select a location and a name for your new project. For this tutorial, I'll create a project titled Tutorial Demo, and I'll save it on my desktop. By clicking Save, a set of project folders will be created at the selected location. Let's take a quick look at what's been created. Opening up the project folder, we see a file with the same name as the project and a set of subfolders. The Audio Files folder will store all of the audio we want to use in the project. The Recorded Audio folder will store any of the audio files we create while working in the project. The Saved Boards, Saved Presets, and Saved Scores folders will store all of the boards, preset files, and score files we save while working in the project. Now let's go back to the software. After clicking Save, the System Board window will pop open, and we can start making music. While this project is open, any boards, presets, audio files, or scores that are created will be saved automatically to the project folder. We'll get into this in more detail in future videos. For now, let's learn about opening MSDP projects. I've closed and reopened Music SDP. We're looking again at the project loader screen. This time, we can see that Tutorial Demo has been added to the drop-down menu. Loading the project is as easy as clicking on the menu and selecting the name. As you make more projects, this menu will fill up, and any previously created project can be opened from here. If you move your project folder's location, or want to open a project that you've copied from another location, you'll have to load the file manually. If you try to load a deleted or moved project from the menu, you'll receive a message saying that the project could not be found. The project will be removed from the menu, but opening the project manually will add it back into the menu for future use. Okay, I've selected Tutorial Demo, and that project has now been opened. In future tutorials, we'll see how we can make our projects open with different settings by using the Project Settings window, but we'll end this tutorial here. In the next video, we'll look at the Audio Status window and learn how to set up your computer to work with Music SDP.